Hello guys, how's it going? Whitestorm here from the RAF VGEA Gaming Network the World of Tanks Clan Tank Clan of Legends Today we're playing the Stura Emil and I decided to put this up because sometimes games don't go quite right sometimes you've got to make some changes halfway through the battle and this is possibly the worst tank I've played yet uh, I really it's not get I'm not getting on with the game style I'm not getting on with sitting at the back I'm a heavy tank player I like to kill stuff I like to drive move so I thought I'd play this to begin with very very kind of in a standard kind of configuration sit at the back in a bush there isn't really any bushes back here I needed to help the heavy tanks Oh, well, at least I felt I did, especially with the KV-1 sitting in the uh, kind of F3 area. Two against potentially three. I thought maybe I'll come over here, see if I can help out. Turns out, couldn't get a bloomin' shot in. Absolutely terrible. The MDs pushed up really far on the A line. And so far to the south, it's kind of stalemate as it normally is. So I've taken up my, my standard position. I'm going to start lumping a few dustbins across towards them. But I can guarantee you, I ain't going to hit nothing. Not with this gun and not at this range. There's the VK. And guess what? There's a ramp there. I cannot hit him. <laughs> so I'm going to have another go. Goes wildly to the left. And this is the most frustrating part about Star Emil. You've got no armor, so you can't go forward. You've got no gun accuracy if you're using the second gun or the first gun. Absolutely none at all. So you're just going to have to sit there and hope that maybe once in a blue moon you connect your shot. Um, you very much in this ga game style got to rely on other tankers kind of doing the majority of the work, in my opinion. So as you saw just there, I took out the kind of debris in front of where the enemy tanks going to be coming from and that one falls short it comes back and I'm literally I'm never going to hit that there's a T1 heavy it would be nice if that had have blind shot and killed him um, literally nothing I can do here so I, I consider going forward a bit further maybe getting closer this sim seems to be winning this side T67 in the corner there hopefully the artillery hits him but there's really, there's very little you can do from this position in a Star Romeo. So I'm, I'm never going to go here again. I don't see the point. I don't know why other players do it. Type 34. Can't hit him. I'm never going to be able to hit him. He'll outspot me all day as well. So, altogether, a pretty pointless and boring game. But it's about to change. It's 7 6 at the moment. Um. And then all of a sudden, I notice in front of me, the 45 TP is on his own. This type T34, a Chinese T34 copy, um, there's no way I'm ever going to be able to see him. And as soon as he disappears, I realise that. I think, yeah, this is not happening. I'm not just going to sit here, no damage, and be able to do nothing. It's pointless. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and join my team. So my team's all the way at the south. I've got to take a slightly longer route. And... Basically, I'm going to transit across there. Bishop has moved all the way up. I don't know what the heck he thinks he's going to do. Um, SU-14-1 is sitting at the back, as he's supposed to. But really, to me, I'm looking at the way that the game's working out. Game's over. All they need to do is push the A-line. Um, 45 TP is just trying to take long shots. He's pretty much out of the game unless he connects. And he's never going to connect through all those buildings unless he gets a lucky shot. So they've really got to push the bottom, but they seem rather reluctant to move forward. So, and now that the Cromwell has taken out the T-34, the other medium tank is thinking, oh dear, time to run away. T-34-85M. So I decide I need to get across there as quickly as possible. I've got the second engine, but um, it's going to take me a while. And immediately, people are beginning to say to me, What are you doing? So, Mr. Crazy Tiger of the Shaw Clan. He's going, Emil, what are you doing? And I say, What do you want? And then he says, Left side. What the heck does he think I'm going to do on the left side by myself? 
Seriously. Look at the map yourself. You can see it on the right hand side of your screen. What am I going to do? Absolutely nothing. So I tell him, it's gone. Let's give it up. Move round. So, I don't see what, what he thinks he's going to do by himself. He's a blooming artillery tank that needs to sit behind the majority of his team. And of course he gets killed. Now this is where he gets a little bit upset. Calls me an idiot and all the rest of it. Nobody cares, mate. You made a bad play, you made a bad call. It's just the way it is. What are you doing all the way over there? So I'm going to start making my way down the right-hand side into the city. Maybe I can help out. I've got more guns here, more friendly guns. We can make angles, we can work together. And the bishop's still having a little pop. He's saying, thanks for no team play. I think you'll find I've come to join my team. So I am playing with my team. Okay, so I have a quick s sit back and think. Panther M10, Tiger 1. There's no way I'm going to be able to uh, shoot through my teammate here. So I'm going to just take a position just to the right of him. I'm going to maximize our guns pointing in one direction. A bit of volley fire. Tiger's sitting back. So we don't have to worry about him. M10 takes out the T3485M. So, best guess now, and I'm pre aimed already, is the M10 is going to have a little poke out and see who's supporting him. Because he obviously hasn't spotted the IKV or the SU uh, recently. He comes out dead. Not a, At least I've actually done something in the game now, I've contributed. Because. Uh, I didn't see any other gu uh, guns firing there. The IKV didn't even bother to fire, so I don't know why. Maybe he was aimed at a different position. Maybe he was trying to get the, the aim in. I don't know. So the Tiger's on his own. I, I, I severely suspect Tiger's literally on his own. Oh, the guys have seen that the A, B, and C lines are now free, apart from the 45 TEP, who's cowering in the corner. They can literally drive around him. They're thinking, right, we're going to chase artillery. They've killed the artillery, they're going to go down the one line. So this is where I have to move uh, to the ridge effectively, to the bushes, just to the back here. Um, because I can see all three were last spotted at the top of the map. So I know I can take this position and that there's nobody going to be behind me shooting me. And this is where I spot the two enemy tanks. We've made a bit of a misplay, they're not using cover. I spot them, I pull back. Solid bush, set the 3485M on fire, taking about 90% of his hit points there. I continue to track him, can't get a shot, so I put one into the T-34. They're both sitting there wondering where the heck has the enemy fire come from. They haven't spotted me, they don't know I'm here. 45 TP kills the Cromwell, happy days. Ricochet on that as it was just a bit of a clutch fire as I was moving backwards. And it's time here, you just have to, have to be a little bit patient. That building is destructible, I know that. I'm just looking for the other easy shot on the 34. Can't see it, so I'm just going to be patient. Wait for support to come. Support has now come. So it's time to just sit here, relax, take a deep breath. 45 TP is probably going to return to us. He's just fired at that building. I decide to shoot the building, and then somebody else can kill him. Bad play by me, though, because... I don't think the bush was solid in front of me. He's seen me probably. Doesn't matter, I get the kill. Threat to the south of us has now been removed. Now, I, I, the next thing I do is I think, right, they've got two artillery. I've just been spotted. I need to move forward. I use the ridge to turn. And there rightly comes in the artillery. The other artillery I can notice has, has hit the other enemy, the, uh, the SU-100. So I know two artillery are fired. I can start moving on. So we've got the Tiger to deal with and another enemy heavy tank as well. So I think it's time that we push this side. If I drive up to where my guys are with the Sioux in, in uh, tow, I drive past him to make sure my intentions are very clear. I'm pushing back forward to our position and hopefully they turn and start helping. Sue's taken up a position on the right, IKV on the left. There is the VK-301P. I'm going to do something that I don't recommend you do all the time. I make sure he proxy spots me. He then sees me, Shower Emil. He now can see my outline and hit points, probably, and goes, easy target. Shoot him in the side as he comes round. I then turn, keep him in my, my gun in front of him, and I make sure 
that he, the other enemy, the friendly tanks, are able to shoot him. He's so tunnel visioned in on me, he's just shown his ass to my two friendly tanks. Kill secure. Tiger left. And now I have to do a bit of wiggling and eventually come free. That's pretty much the end of the game. Not going to be needing to do much more. Just have to push him out of the way. There we go, we're free. 45 TP had a monster of a game. I've done just short of 2k. I'm going to let the other guy go first because I've got less hit points. Just going to wait for a second, see if he gets blown up. I'm going to take a different direction than him because I want to increase my chances of surviving in case the Tiger, which can carry sometimes, a blooming good tank. And there he is, he's spotted. 45 TP is probably going to finish him off. And that is pretty much the end of the match. 45 PTP does. Well, thanks very much for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.